How's it going guys? My name is Super Rebel and today we are going to be talking about Far Cry 5. Yes, that's correct because yesterday news started to leak out and it's actually pretty crazy. So today I'm going to be going through all the things that were leaked out or revealed, whichever you guys want to say. And I'm also going to be giving my thoughts on it as well. So without further ado, let's just jump right into today's video. So recently Ubisoft selected a few Far Cry 4 players and gave them a poll about which settings they'd like to see in a future Far Cry game. Now the polls which were sent out over the last few weeks include 11 options and these players were told to only select 3 of them and they were actually really really crazy options. Now I assume these guys were probably told not to share these things but like anyone else would do they decided to go ahead and spread it and they went to Eurogamer with this info and then Eurogamer rounded up the list which I'll read out for you guys right now. So firstly we have a Far Cry game in remote Alaska about surviving extreme wilderness, then we have a Far Cry game in a futuristic sci-fi setting on another planet. Now real quick I just want to say please don't do this Ubisoft, now don't get me wrong it would be cool if this was in the game but if it wasn't the main setting, like if it was a completely different mode within Far Cry 5 then sure why not Ubisoft, I personally think that would be pretty cool but if it's actually going to be the main setting in like future futuristic sort of style on different planets, I think that's gonna ruin the game, but that's just my opinion, because we have already had loads of FPS and third person games going all futuristic this year, for example Destiny, Call of Duty, then we have No Man's Sky coming up and a ton more, like there are just so many games like I said a few seconds ago that are going futuristic and all spacey, and I just don't want Far Cry to do that, because it wouldn't be as good in my opinion. Now other than that, we do have a Far Cry game set in the Vietnam War during the 1960s, which would be kinda cool. Then we have a Far Cry game set in the cocaine trafficking jungles of Peru. I think I pronounced that right, I'm not too sure, but anyway, a game set in the cocaine trafficking jungles. That would be absolutely insane. Now this is definitely something that I would actually like to see in Far Cry 5 as the main story, because it would actually provide a super good story and the game would just be super challenging and pretty adventurous. So this is a pretty decent idea, then we have a Far Cry game where you can fight against or join vampires, now again, Ubisoft please don't do this unless it's going to be a different mode within the main game, that would be cool but if it's going to be the main story and setting of the game, just don't do it, it's going to be pretty boring. And there is only a certain amount of fun you can have being a vampire compared to for example now in Far Cry 4 where there is realism and there's just a ton of things that you can do and the game is still really fun up to today but if we are going to be a zombie or fighting against zombies eventually it's going to die out and when I say die out eventually I probably would say within like the first couple of weeks that the game is released. And the same does apply to co-op as well if this was to happen, like where is the fun in that? You're going to be a vampire chasing your friend, oh hey I'm a zombie I'm about to bite you, then your friend is going to try to shoot you, and that is literally going to be it. And then besides that, just think about the world in general, it's always going to be dark and it's just not going to be really fun. But I don't know about you guys, but for me this isn't going to be something that I would like to see unless again it's a different mode within the main game. Then after that we do have a Far Cry game in the spaghetti western style set in the 19th century Americas and this would actually be pretty cool, all that first person stuff riding horses, I guess that's something that could work. Then we have a Far Cry game that is set during a zombie outbreak, again something that I think Ubisoft should not do because it would just be a zombie apocalypse like Dead Island 2 or something like that, it's not going to be unique. Then we have Blood Dragon 2 which is going to be a sequel to Blood Dragon. Now if Ubisoft was to do this I honestly think they would be making a really good move because this is something that a lot of people wanted to see as Far Cry 4 and just overall in general it was extremely popular so if I was given this poll I would definitely tick that. Now after that we do have a Far Cry game set in a Mad Max style post apocalyptic world. Again a pretty decent idea, I'd probably say yes I guess to that, it would be kind of fun. Then we have a Far Cry game in the present day on a Jurassic Park style island of dinosaurs. Again if I was given this poll I would definitely tick this, riding dinosaurs and all that stuff. That would be extremely fun, I really would love to see that. And lastly, the option that was given was a Far Cry game based on the world of Shangri-La from Far Cry 4. And uh, Ubisoft, just please completely wipe that off the list, that'll be really boring. 
So these were the options that were given to the guys who were chosen and it is safe to say that half of them were absolutely insane and I really really hope that these guys didn't tick the futuristic box because I honestly do think that would just completely ruin the Far Cry series like it will kind of affect its story as well because Far Cry have always been good with stories but if it's gonna be on a different planet the story would just be probably super stupid at least that's just what I think anyway compared to a Far Cry game set in the cocaine trafficking jungles. That would be a good story, it would be a really fun game. And the same does go to the whole Jurassic Park dinosaurs and all that good stuff because I think that would be something really fun and the same does go to co-op as well riding dinosaurs. It would just be a great experience but unfortunately it is not in our hands but I really do wish that Ubisoft decided to put this poll public on their website because if that was to happen we do have a bigger chance of receiving a better Far Cry 5 game. But overall, I really hope Ubisoft don't get too crazy with their ideas because it might just kill off the Far Cry series. But guys, with that said, that does unfortunately bring today's video to an end. If you could leave a like below, that would be absolutely amazing. And if you missed the last video, I was talking about things that Ubisoft needs to stop doing so that this year doesn't turn out like last year. So if you guys missed that, there is a link for you in the description below. And it was a really interesting video, so I would definitely recommend for you guys to go ahead and check it out. And if you are new around here, then please go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down below. If you would like to stay up to date with more open world game news, that would be absolutely amazing amazing and I will love you guys forever and with that said I'll catch you guys in the next video but until then as always I hope you are having yourselves a super awesome day and stay awesome stay beautiful and adios amigos